Dignitaries and the media gathered Friday morning to hear details on a major project that will refurbish the Ontario ended. Power Generations Reservoir at the Sir Adam Beck Pump Generating Station, which is the only one of its kind in Canada. It's an energy storage facility and, and we, we store the energy in the water. So what we do in this facility is in the early hours of the morning when demand is low, we fill the reservoir with water. And then during the morning peak and the evening peak when demand increases, sometimes it increases quite significantly, we drain the water from the reservoir, generate electricity here in this facility. The water goes back into the canal and then generates electricity again at the Sir Adam Beck 1 and Sir Adam Beck 2 complex. So it's equivalent of about 600 megawatts. Once this reservoir was drained, uh, did, did its uh, condition surprise you in any way? No, it didn't surprise us. We, we, we kind of expected what we saw. 65 years is a long time, and, and we monitor the condition of the reservoir on a monthly basis. And so we, we, can, we can monitor the condition uh, along the perimeter of the reservoir, and there's certain telltale signs that the engineers look for. And when, when we saw those telltale, telltale signs, we decided it was time to, uh, uh, to do some work in the reservoir. The project is expected to cost approximately $60 million, with the work being carried out by Rankin Construction. And everything so far, we're on schedule, and we're very happy the way the job's going, and we're happy that OPG pick, chose our firm to do this job. How many workers will it take to do this? Right now, we got down to 60, 65, and it could go up to 100. There's other operations we have to add, and they'll take more workers. The term clean energy was heard often over the course of today's speeches and those on hand were able to get a rare glimpse at the reservoir which when full holds the equivalent of 8,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. I think, the, I think the sheer immensity of the size of the reservoir is something you can't really grasp unless you stand here and look at it and uh, we were trying to convert it to things that were equivalent. For example, the amount of water in literally every Olympic-sized swimming pool in the world would fit in here. Um, the uh, surface area is roughly the equivalent of uh, 1,250 major league ball fields, you know, uh, the, the numbers are just staggering and um, I was blown away by the fact that they said, oh yeah, we can fill this in about a day and I thought, really? I thought you would fill it in a whole season. Having this reservoir out of commission, how will that affect the system? Um, one of the uh, nice parts about Ontario's balanced uh, energy supply is that uh, we have the ability to take this one out of service and um, make it up through uh, wind and solar and um, uh, other hydro dams that have been refurbished, uh, a much more efficient grid. So um, the, uh, the strength of Ontario's uh, generation and distribution system is showing here in the ability to take um, this reservoir out of service. So they, they basically, I guess, acquired the land, built the, uh, and I don't know what kind of opposition they would have had in those days, in the 50s, but uh, it would be a tall task today to assemble this kind of amount of land. But it's one of the missing links, the storage. By having Our storage, it's so important. When, the, the, you know, when electricity peaks during the day, you, you have it here and you can let it out. That and that's area. very important. And that's what we need more of in Ontario is what we have right here. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.